Hello, uh, this is a walkthrough of the session for Pay Attention for my album VX1. This session is before I sent it off for mixing. Uh, it does have some effects on it and whatnot. Uh, just, it was just for me to figure out what it sounds like, but um, essentially we're going to be walking through what went into all the tracking and recording and editing um, for this song and some of the ideas that went into it. Uh, so as with a lot of the other songs, we've kind of got these kind of groups of uh, percussion and our bass and then essentially with this one it's really easy because I was trying to imitate more of a electronic feeling thing so uh, a lot of like there's not very much going on in like uh, the pads in terms of extra extra sounds or whatnot it's a fairly simple sound or song and a lot of it's like fairly loopy um, uh, it's also easier because I'm using a drum machine only on this track for that same reason um i wanted to sound a little bit more electronic uh and if you've seen some of the other songs you'll know that this is kind of a drum machine of just the sounds that i can make so it is kind of like a vocal percussion drum set um, and and the reason why i usually use one of these is that each of these sounds is kind of a stereo track uh well pretty much all these sounds are like a stereo track of of a really clean sound that I've made uh, both hard pan to the left and right uh, so you can kind of like and it's kind of the best sound I, I can make and the idea with this one is that I only used a drum machine and I didn't do a spit track a spit take of just like beatboxing throughout the whole song because I wanted this to feel a little bit more electronic and very like very clean um, so you'll hear that in the percussion throughout the whole song uh, and it's yeah I mean, basically, that goes through the whole song. Uh, there's just a few extra little uh, things I added at the beginning, and I think maybe towards the end. Uh, nope, just the beginning. Um, and it's just like little, yeah, li little one-offs like that. Uh, and then this tick is kind of based off of the... Uh, it's kind of... That, that sound I kind of made based off of the kitchen clock um, in the house uh, as in growing up kind of it reminds me of uh, I don't know there's a lot of times where I was just sitting at the table working on something and I'd hear that clock all the time so I wanted to imitate the sound of that clock so that's what that's what this one second tick is uh, I wanted to kind of like remember that spot where I was in where I hear the clock over over there and I'm just working on something or whatever um, the bass is pretty straightforward, loops through the whole thing. Um, and a lot of times I got my, my uh, pitch down bass and my... I can hear, I can hear, like, I mean, there's a lot of, like, pitching artifacts in here, too. You can hear it. Um, or it's just because I couldn't reach the low notes, so I kind of just like, cheated a little bit. But yeah, so essentially those together. And basically it's just that and like that one, uh, the one pad that goes through the whole song and that's basically like the texture that is playing throughout the whole thing. This pad um, essentially the two main things that we've got on that is uh, uh, some panning and uh, this gate um. yeah so those are both um, oops um, automated um, essentially kind of this the whole thing of this pad is uh, I kind of I kind of liked how it kind of triggered some like ASMR stuff in in my head so I kind of just liked that it kind of is like a massage for me I just like I, I listen to this and I'm just sort of like oh. uh, yeah. you just listen to the pad by 
itself. Like that transition between the left and the right kind of gets me. So I, I, just, I just liked that feel of that texture. Um, and then really like th that, those, like that that pad, that bass, and that percussion go through the whole song. <laughs> That's basically the entire song. Uh, they, these pads just fill out some space at some point. They're just kind of like angelic chorus things in the background. And as with a lot of the other things in my album, uh, these are two takes panned hard to the left and right. Uh, and this is just literally like looping. Um, yep. And I didn't really care about like like stuff like those cuts and whatnot. Um, I just thought it added a little bit more texture. Um, I don't think I did anything like... Oh yeah, so this is the original take probably and I just cut it and put it everywhere that's what I'm guessing um and then the lead the lead is fun it was this is one of those leads where it's just like I wanted it to be very very quiet I basically whispered this into the mic like the entire time I was doing it pay attention to me pay attention to me Pay attention to me. And you'll notice uh, on this one, usually I'll have a mono lead and then I'll have a lead dub behind it, which is the stereo track. Um, and this one, I didn't really want it to feel like that. I kind of, this whole song is just about like the textures, right? Um, and so the lead in itself is almost a texture in this song, um, which is why I uh, had it like that. Um, the other leads are the other, I guess, the other more interesting things about this. Um, I forget which one of these is weird. One of these is super weird for some reason. Uh, I think, oh, this one, this one. Yeah, the 8VB eight, the eight whistle. That's kind of funny. Uh, I whistled and then I just pitched it down like two octaves or one octave or something like that. So I thought that made a very interesting texture. Um, yeah, that's just the most unique sound on this track, probably. Um, then, hmm, so I think these are just doubling the... <laughs> I don't know why that's so loud, but sure. Um, um, and then, yeah, that is just something. Oh, I probably have a stuff on the master bus that's why it's so loud okay yeah, yeah. uh and then it's oh, it's just a breath uh uh that's basically the whole song uh there's not much going on in this song um printed drum machine is just uh the tracks that came out from uh, that drum machine track so this is just printed out uh yeah that, that was just for exporting purposes but that is the whole song. So uh, I hope uh, that you got something out of this video. And I hope that you watch some of the other song walkthroughs as well. So thank you.